So I've been getting a lot of requests um, to do, um, like, a daily makeup routine. Like, people are more, like, asking more for, like, what I use or what I put on before I did the smoky eye. But I just thought I'd do a full-on makeup routine when I don't use the smoky eye. And people thought, also, they were asking if I was going to do a video today. Yes, obviously, I'm doing one right now. Um, just because I thought that was a very much needed video. This is what you guys are going to see me do, so enjoy. So I've already put toner on and moisturizer, so now I'm going to put concealer on. And what I'm using is Maybelline Mineral Power. Like, I don't think you should put that much concealer on, and I know I'm going to be a bit of, like, a hypocrite by saying, like, by doing what I'm doing. Just because it's not really good for your skin. But I do that anyways. Like, and I don't even have that many blemishes. I just like a lot of concealer. And excuse the bobby pin, it makes me look kind of stupid, but... I look kind of like I'm stupid right now. So now I'm just going to blend it in with my foundation brush. And I don't really, like, blend it. I'm more, so just, like, dab it in kind of thing. Because normally people just put concealer on the blemishes, so it's, I think anywhere, even if it's not a blemish, just do, like, an even, like, movement of, like, dabbing and blending, if that makes sense. Just so, like, when you do your foundation and your powder, it doesn't look like there's, like, streaks of concealer under your foundation than under your powder. That looks decent. Now that I put it on, just blend it in a little. I don't use uh, my, like, a sponge to blend. I think it's just stupid. Like, why waste money on that? Just use your hands and wipe it off, like, when you're, like, wipe it off your hands when you're done. So now it's foundation. I'm using a Dream Liquid Mousse by Maybelline. What I do is I just put, like, three little pumps. If you do circular motions when you're putting the foundation on, it'll just be easier to blend out when it comes time to blending. But that's just me. Maybe it's just like an extra step, like, or an extra thing you don't really have to do. You just kind of want to get the foundation on. But I like to do the circular motion so it's easier to blend out. Recently, I've been really obsessed with this uh, Jessica Simpson song, because <laughs> maybe no one likes Jessica Simpson anymore, but I am still a fan. So yeah, I'm just going to blend it in with my brush so it's easier to blend when I use my fingers. Then when you're done, you just kind of blend it into your neck. That's what I like with brushes, because when I didn't use them, I would have, like, a bit of a line, then I would have to blend it in, but now that I use brushes, it just makes it look more natural. Blend in the foundation. Again, I don't use sponges or pads or whatever to blend it in. I just use my fingers. Simplest, I think, most effective way, because with a sponge, it can still leave streaks. I think it's a really big accomplishment that I haven't had a mirror in front of my face this whole time and not knowing about it. Now it is time for the powder. And I'm using a Maybelline Stream Matte Powder. What I do is I just put the thing in and then flick, and then I'm just going to put it everywhere. And it's good because with the brushes, you get a lot of coverage depending. 
on what brush you use. Like, my brushes were all under six bucks. Um, they're Bob Resorts. I bought them at Walmart. I've had this for, like, just getting close to a month, and it hasn't even made a dent in it yet. So, brushes, a very good investment, even if it's so cheap that, you know, it's not even an investment. Next step is like eyeshadow, but I don't want to use the eyeshadow I was going to use because I was like debating on it while filming and before I started, but I'm going to do a tutorial next week and inspired by Stay tuned for that. Do your eyeshadow and whatever, and I'm just going to skip to liner. Like my last tutorial, I'm using the L'Oreal Carbon Black with li oh, yeah, liquid liner. With I just did really two, like, little lines of liquid liner, so now it's time to move on to the mascara, and before that I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with my Revlon eyelash curler. I kind of put too much on by accident, so I'm just going to kind of blend it up. And to make it even, I'm just going to go back and touch this one up. So if you put too much on, like I do it sometimes by accident since I've been using it, just go over it lightly with some of your uh, powder. Like nothing bad is going to happen from that. You're just going over it lightly. Um, yeah, and I'm going to use my Wet n Wild lipstick. It comes off as a very, very light, like, caramel kind of with, like, red undertones. But, like, when it's, like, really on, it looks like a nude, which is weird because it's, like, a caramel, basically. Like, it's called... What is it called? 547B. That is a great color. i pop this on. So, that concludes my daily makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you uh, want to request a tutorial for that, uh, please leave a comment below, inbox me, tweet me at 